Hello everyone, hope you're all well and blessed. As you know, I'm the Pleg. <laughs> I'm the Peg Leg. I just look really stupid. In ah, what's that all about? Well, I haven't been feeling well today. Been going to bed really late, getting up really early for some reason. It's more or less like a few days before this snow in England started. We well, started Monday. Uh, headache's killing me, but that's all right. Talk about medicine. Are they still? Are they keeping you asleep with medicine? Are they? Is medicine even healing you? Well, we all know it's it. They've got. They're in it for the money. So yeah. Now talk about urine. You know, people swear by it. And that's that's fine. That's fine by me. I've I've got something going on with that at the moment, but I'll let you know in due time. Do you know what I mean? I picked up some snow the other day because I've seen a few videos where they like the snow and it doesn't melt; it burns, so you get all the blackness from. From the flame onto on the um, ice. Well, mine was a mixed bag of just melting with a little bit of black on it. So obviously, there's in England, it's not as bad as America, from what I understand, from what I've seen, from my own experiment. I didn't put it on YouTube because I'm sure there's someone else who's done that. That's from England. <laughs> And as well, they're shutting a lot of people's channels down recently. You know, crazy. Copyright strikes, this, that, the other. But they're just looking to get rid of us truthers. And keep the ones that are submissive to YouTube and their guidelines. Well, you know, they've always sent me messages saying stuff like, you're not in trouble, but it could be a song that I've used that they're they're talking about or something along them lines or a clip of a video within my video. <laughs> that sounds weird. But so far, I haven't, you know, been truly warned. <laughs> and if someone has come back and said, oh, yeah, we want something from that channel that you know, they're using my video or my song. They put a, a clip up, like an advert or something up. It doesn't really bother me as long as my channel's up and I'm making my videos trying to show people the truth. <sighs> the truth is a funny thing. Black history isn't what I knew it to be. You know, black history goes back into England and Ireland and Wales and places like that. You know, this slavery stuff happened more recently after King James or thereabouts. Because a lot of people believe King James is black or was black, should I say? Because obviously he's dead now. Um... And what happened is, white man came along and sort of whitewashed the black people. And uh, took over those countries. It's a crazy thing to, to understand and learn. Well, I mean... A lot of people talk about the Queen being German or whatever, which she is. She's not even proper English. And you got all those people out there waiting for this new wedding to take place. The fact is, Germany won. England lost. But they won't tell you that in school. 
Just like the flat earth And you can't go to space It's all this stuff It's crazy to know that <sighs> History That we've been taught Isn't real Went out the other day Allegedly on my birthday The 27th this Of February The day it really snowed It was like at 7 o'clock in the morning Got to about 9 We went to the shop with the kids Me and the wife and It was nice Made sure we wrapped up warm <laughs> Put the old gloves on And old Hats and stuff, coats, <laughs> and we played a barrel of the snow. I came back from the shop. The wife stayed at home. I took the kids to the park. They done a bit of sledding. And while I was there, I've got to say, I felt so peaceful I'm watching the kids build a snowman and going up and down the hill. That day I felt really good. It was like a peace. A beautiful peace. You know, just looking at that snow and the scenery that it gave towards the land. Hey, and watching my kids, that was beautiful. They were just laughing and climbing up the hill and rolling down the hill and all sorts. Falling off the sled. Man. That's a beautiful feeling. That's a memory they're going to take with them when they're older. And as parents, that's what we've got to do. We've got to give them good memories. You know. But at the same time, show them the truth. You know, my, my youngest son is in primary school. And... This week, there was learning about space. <laughs> and my, son, my little son, he doesn't really understand a lot of stuff, but he was telling me, oh, they go to space and this, that, the other. And I sort of just like, no, they don't, son, but I'll tell you when you're a little bit older, <laughs> the truth. But as I said, at the moment, he doesn't really understand. <laughs> I mean, my two older children, I tell them all sorts of things, you know, flat earth, you can't go to space, the moon, you can't land on it and stuff like that. But we've got to educate these children. So if I plant a seed in my children's head and they go and talk to a friend or, you know, something like that. And I give them everything they need to know as a tool to pass the message on to an, another kid or an adult or something like that. My oldest son, funny enough, said to the teacher, oh, you can't go to the moon and this, that and the other. But the teacher just looked at him and shrugged their head, sort of thing. Because I asked him, what did the teacher do? So, yeah. This was quite a while back, you know, 2000 and late 2015. But, yeah. I've come across a lot of stuff. I've put a lot of stuff in my videos. This concave thing is just crazy. It's more or less like the... Um, the globe, but sort of see-through in a sense, with um, a pyramid, a female and male pyramid, which is supposed to be heaven and something else, maybe hell, and it's got a positive and a negative. Because uh, someone asked me to look at it, so a guy called Sam, I won't say his second name. And uh, I looked at it, and I just thought, Sam, you're you was a flat earther. That that's the that's the real one. You know what I mean? That on the concave, it's just like, no, I can't see it. I just couldn't see it. I mean, the the flat earth makes much more sense. I couldn't even see if, um, concave in the Bible. I just saw flat earth in the Bible. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, as I said, you're in treat um treatment. 
medication and cancer you know all this stuff it is not what we've been told I learned today that back in the the early hundreds like eleven hundreds or or somewhere along there that they used to use urine for treatment but the FDA whatever it's called took it out so no more it's not good for you yeah. but yeah we use we drink the water and it's got all sorts of chemicals in it all this stuff is there designed to to keep us down oppressed we are slaves in the German world <laughs> England didn't win Rome never fell Rome just went quiet for a while and did it through the Catholic Church <laughs> aliens ain't real but you get people that love talking about it. Oh, I don't know about time travel. I, I just... Uh, i got a real problem with that. <laughs> Someone said the Mandela effect and time travel are part and parcel of each other. Oh, I don't know. Because when they start talking about a globe and then, you know, aliens, you know, I just think, well, you can't be right in what you're saying because, look, it's a flat earth. There are no other planets. So how can there be aliens? The only aliens that could be there are strangers from next door, down the road, that you don't even know. <laughs> I've never seen the Old Testament mention the, you know, aliens. I've never seen the Old Testament mention Jesus. But people would argue with you and say, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's scriptures, you know, that tells you who they're actually, you know, who they're actually talking about, which isn't, it isn't Jesus, you know. The black slaves back in the day are the real Jews. The real, the Jews never made it home. But back in 45 or 6 or wherever it was, they said it was. Just do the research. You'll see it. It will be there. A lot of people think I'm crazy for saying this stuff. The New Testament is fake. It was designed by, you know, the churches, you know, by the governments of that time. The Illuminati, if you want to call them that. Or the Zionists, or the, the Freemasons, or the Catholic Church, the Romans, yeah. I'm telling you, it's time to look look at this stuff and see it for what it really is. TV, taking your mind and your kids' minds. Kids don't play outside like they used to because they're stuck inside on their laptops or their computer games. My day, we was outside playing. That was a beautiful thing. Playing back in the day, cops and robbers, cowboys and Indians, until I found out, you know, the Indians were more or less the good guys and the cowboys were just bad. Not all of them, obviously, because we can't put all, you know, the cowboys in that um, basket. <laughs> but the governments of those days, you know, took out the Indians and the Indians weren't those Indians that you think who wear the feathers in their hair there, there's proof on this stuff and they won't teach you that in schools which is sad anyway I'm on the 14 minute mark I love you all people remember keep it flat pass on the word plant a seed let them open the door. 
that's all we can do. So yeah, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I'll be in the peg leg. God bless. Peace.